There are times hata sisi kama wachungaji tunalemewa tunalemewa maana mwana wa Josina haupigangwi na mtu ambaye hujasaidia mtu tumeegeza katika maisha yake tumesimama na ye. tumemtoa kwa jela tumemtoa kotini tumelipia mtoto karo ya shule tumelipa nyumba yake tumesimama na wao mpaka chama na complain pastor you are doing too much lakini tena kitu kinapikika ninasikia tena napigiwa simu ninatoka usiku na chama na pikipiki maharibika tunaenda kwa nyumba ya mpendo wa Tasia anakataa kutuingiza kwa nyumba tunakaa kwa hoteli ya kipanda inche saa sita usiku mwenye hotel chama anasema pastor ninaenda kunywa hata kipara yenye aina nywele so that i can buy some time for you to talk to that woman and try to put some order in her life angalau ajifunue kwako pastor yeye anaondoka anaenda atanyolewa amalize then arudi apate bado tunaongea tumefukuzwa kwa hoteli ya wenyewe kwa sababu wanataka kufunga hoteli basi tunasimama kwa pikipiki nje mahali hatujulikani yani ni Mungu tu analindanga ushuhuda wetu sisi katika kama watumishi wa Mungu maana tungepatikana tu tupigwe picha hivi waweke Facebook wasema ya kwamba huyu pastor anamjua ni apostle Wycliffe Jackson lakini huyu mwanamke hatumjui singeruka kwa hayo chema na nakuja tena tunasimama na mpendwa tunanena katika maisha yake tunanena katika maisha yake saa hizo tumwambia mme wake usi rudi kwa nyuma baka tukutane na wewe tunachukua pikipiki yenye aina speed tunimaribika kia box huko tunazungukia kule juu tukuje tena tusimame stage saa saba usiku tuongelishe mpendwa tujaribu kurudisha nyumba yake pamoja tuondoe asira tusaidie maisha yake abudu bwana pamoja na ndoa yake abudu bwana pamoja na nyumba yake lakini kesho kesho unasengenyo akisema Pasta huko nisaidia huyo pasta huko nisaidia nilitaka 150000 pasta wiki ni pakani nyima zilikuwa zako na natoka kanisa kwa sababu pasta wiki lifajampatia 150000 wapendwa inaumiza ninafika pahali ninashindwa kujiexplain unajua kuna hatua fulani tunachukwanga katika maisha ya wapendwa kama wachungaji ambazo hatuwezi ambia kanisa siwezi ambia my assistant pastor siwezi ambia mke wangu hatua fulani tunemechukua bwana asifiwe so no, no, lakini inafika mahali you cannot explain yourself ninapiga maguti kama mchungaji kwa sababu ya uchungu kwa sababu ya kuangaishwa ninampia mungu eh mungu sasa mahali huduma hii imefika ninaiweka tu katika mikono yako alafu mke wake ananitumia message i can divide that church kakuwe fupande fupande nitaambia maxwell hivi nitaambia sijui manu hivi nitaambia gracia sulisemba hivi nilichoka na huyo mama alikuwa anaimba hapa kwa madhabahu nikamwambia i have given you freedom to do anything you want about this altar after i gave her the freedom mimi nikaondoka na mimi nikaenda kwa magoti nikaambia mungu mungu uliponya maisha yangu ukaniondoa kwa dhambi ukanifanya kukua kisima ambacho kina maji ya uhai ukawaleta mataifa wakunywe wakati walipokuja hapa hawakujuana wamekuja kujuaniana hapa mwana wa Josina na baada ya kujuaniana hapa kulikwa kwa unyenyekevu ashukuru Mungu asante kwa sababu kupitia kwa maono ulimpa pasta weekly nimepata rafiki mzuri ndani mwa transforming grace nimepata ndoa ndani mwa transforming grace nimepata mtu wa kunioa mali hapa bwana Yesu asifiwe badala yake anaanza kushirikiana na wale alipata hapa wenye hakuleta katika huo mlima ndio kwa sababu Mungu anasambaratishanga maisha yao maana umekuja kusambaratisha chini haukujenga ni Mungu alilipa gharama kajenga we ukakuja fanya magani kusambaratisha mtu wa Mungu ukisikia ile dhambi ya Islam hewangwe ni ile dhambi unasikia ya kumkufuru roho mtakatifu Ukionanga watu wengine ni wachezaji vyombo wazuri, waimbaji wa vizuri, lakini ladha ya vitu vya Mungu imekufa ndani yao ni kwa sababu kuna madhabahu pale inawapiga na kuwapinga. I'm telling you hata kutoe sadaka ina gani, uweze funguliwa. Rudi tu hapa. Because kila anapiga na kurarua, mimi mwenyewe nimepiga magoti nikasema, God, 
Si wewe ndio ulinitoa kwa job kubwa nilikuwa nayo. Ukanipa huduma basi ninachukua hii huduma ninaiweka kwa mikono yako. Atakai ipinga, aipinge ikiwa kwa mikono yako. Atakai sengenya na kurarua wapendwa kupitia kwa incitement na roho za misheni na masengenyo. Afanye hivyo ikiwa kwa mikono yako. Then give the time some time. I'm using this as an example to teach you the time comes in life when you cannot pray for that husband, for that wife, for that stubborn boy, for that stubborn girl. Mwenye anahangaishwa na masturbation, na madawa za kulevya, unapiga magoti, unasema tu baba, wewe ndio unapatia nanga watoto. Ninamrudisha katika mikono yako. Will you try that prayer today? Sio uende kwa diviner kwa sababu mwingine alikwendea kwa divine si uende kwa mganga kwa sababu mwingine alikwendea kwa mganga si uende kujibizana na mtu kwa sababu amekuongelesha matope go back to the knees na useme dada huyu ndugu huyo ni jirani yangu ni yanko yangu ni rafiki yangu baba ninamweka kwa mikono yako stand up on your feet please go back to the will of god the bible says wakati yesu alipoyatekeleza mapenzi ya bwana ndipo Mungu alipompatia nguvu na uweza hata wa kushuka chini na kuchukua she, kumunyanganya sio hata kuchukua kumunyanganya meaning it was not an easy thing akamunyanganya shetani funguo za mamlaka aliyaona mamlaka baada ya kutimiza nini mapenzi ya Bwana please do the will of god men of god who serve on this altar let us do the will of god concerning this ministry concerning the areas of our calling concerning the office in which god has called us concerning our wives our children our families let us do the will of god sometimes it is not easy sometimes it's not possible but from the willingness of a heart and submission of mind and the spirit and the soul the bible says eh, you shall eat the good of the land Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I charge you again, brethren. Usiwapendwe. With the will of God. Fanye mapenzi ya Mungu. Just go in the will of God. Nenda tufanye mapenzi ya Mungu. Don't go to do big things. Usiende kufanya mambo makubwa. Just go to the will. Nenda ukafanye mapenzi ya Mungu. That's when you will prove Mungu hata kaingi mbinguni. He is Emmanuel God with us. Akwa pamoja nasi ni Emmanuel. Just do it. Fanye tu. Just do the will of God. Fanye mapenzi ya Mungu. Give and it shall be given. Peana na utapewa. Mungu hii mwezi sita toa tithe. Mahitaji ni mengi. Mahitaji ni mengi sana. Mungu anakuambia ni sawa, kaa naye yako. But at the end of the day, lakini misho unajipata pale pa kudhibitisha oh kumbe. Mm. That tithe. Fungo lile was the deliverance I needed. Ni ukombozi niliohitaji for the sake of what was lying ahead of me. Kwa kila ambacho kilikuwa kiko mbele yangu. Brethren to the will of God. Sometimes we are not able. Wakati mwingine hatuna uwezo. Sometimes we are weak. Wakati wakati mwingine tuta dhaifu. But I, I bless you with the grace. Lakini nakubariki na neema. To the will of God. Fanya mapenzi ya Mungu.